We return to Way the Hunter today for what would have been just a few days ago, an entirely unexpected reason, and that is to talk more about the new map. So a bit of information came out around the time that I was recording the video for Thursday, and I think a bit even after that video, and I wanted to talk about a bit of that while we hunt out here on Transylvania. So probably for the first five or so minutes, as we walk around here and hunt for stuff, we'll be looking at some of the new information and then we'll just continue our hunt on a map that we really haven't hunted nearly enough. And so as we get going here, our first kill is a one-star mature roe deer. All of 43%, not exactly the most impressive for a mature, but we will be on our way from here. Now the first thing that came out right about the time that I started recording, so I missed it, in the official Whale Hunter Discord, was a list of seven confirmed species to the Aurora Shores map. Those are Alaska Moose, so that's going to be different from the Nez Perce Valley Moose, Barren Ground Caribou, Kodiak Bear, Roosevelt Elk, Sitka Deer, Surf Scoter, and Wood Bison. The only really new things here are Kodiak Bear. We are unsure what kind of bear that may have been. I was guessing potentially Grizzly, so Kodiak's going to be really cool. We knew Caribou. We expected Moose, but not necessarily the Alaska Moose. And then Roosevelt Elk. I thought maybe those antlers in the trailer looked a little bit different, and I think they probably do. Sitka Blacktail were something we expected, and fortunately they are going to be on the map. We've not seen anything from them, and I'm really looking forward to getting to see those. And then finally, the Surf Scoter. That is a duck species, a waterfowl species, and I know very little about them, but it's good to hear they're continuing with the small game theme, as well as adding a number of big game species. Now, I also wanted to just briefly mention that there appears to be a tentative release date in the actual description of the trailer video and to quote the description exactly it says maybe february 23rd now i'm recording this on thursday the day that the trailer dropped but the video is not coming out till saturday so there may be changes there maybe confirmation on the actual release date or maybe it's still going to be just a tentative date but regardless looking like a little less than three weeks away until we have the Aurora Shores map dropping, and that's not as long as I thought. So, fairly soon, we're going to have an entire new map with, I'm going to say, at least seven new species to go after. I'm still not entirely certain that everything has been revealed, and I guess we'll find out soon enough. And those are the two kind of main pieces of information that were missed out in the original video. So, from here, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at some of the screenshots that were provided to the entire community by the Way the Hunter official Discord, and just going over some of the things I noticed, specifically a few things that look a little bit different from the trailer, and I think in all cases, generally that has been a good thing. And in the meantime, what I think we just saw there was the fast travel bug. There's no reason this wild boar should have been up here. We're actually in the mountains going for chamois at the moment, and it was just walking right at us, but we'll take a two-star mature, and I think actually fitting as we move up into the mountains, we can take a look at the landscape screenshots because I just think this map looks incredible. I think it's going to be so much fun just to explore around and wander. From the mountains that we get to see, we've got the screenshot of the wolf in the mountains as well. That not being a new species, I think just kind of fits in generally with the landscape. That kind of scarlet underbrush that's so stereotypical of Alaskan hunting. I just think they've done a fantastic job, even to the pine forests. I don't know what type of species we may expect to encounter in those things, but I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Just a really well designed map from what we see in the screenshots, and I can't wait to just go exploring. And finally, as we line up for a semi long shot on one of these Mouflon, probably the one star adult, we can go over the animal screenshots and take a look at some of the things that are different and just some general observations. So let's go ahead and get that guy. Might have been a spine shot because it looks like red blood. And now we have 260 yards to cover. So let's get the kind of less interesting ones out of the way first. The Kodiak bear models from a distance there, because that screenshot is pretty far away, it do look good. The general head shape and body shape looks correct. And that's about all I can really say looking at that screenshot from far away. We'll definitely have to see them a bit more up close before we can make any official determinations. As for the Alaska Moose, I kind of think something looks a little bit different about that model than the ones that we have on Nez Perce Valley, but maybe it's just the coloration. 
it's hard for me to tell for sure, but something looks a little different either way. They're not wildly different from the ones that we've already seen. Then we get into things that are a little bit more interesting. Firstly, the Roosevelt Elk. That antler looks very different than anything we've seen with the Rocky Mountain Elk before. Now maybe it's the angle, but it certainly appears to be different. The other thing is though, that much lighter coloration. Now it could be that all the animals in that herd or that screenshot are matures, and maybe that's why they're all light in color. Because in theory, Roosevelt should be a little darker in color than the Rocky, so I'm curious to see I guess just the range of potential colors for them. Then finally, what I find the most interesting is the bison screenshot. If we look at that, compared to the trailer, the models look a lot better. There was something in the trailer ones. Their necks didn't look right, I don't even know exactly how to describe it. These look much much better. I also think their horns are maybe a little bit whiter in color. And then the big thing is to the general coloration. Towards the hind ends, it's a lot kind of grayer. I didn't notice that as much in the trailer. I just think these ones look far better than what we saw in the trailer. And they're one of, if not the feature species on the map. So that's a huge plus. And so I don't know if we managed to do the entire new map conversation in under five minutes, but I think that officially is going to wrap up our talk about the Aurora Shores map for now. We did make a spawn shot there, by the way, 26%. Good move on to take out. We've not shot many of these. I'd be really pleased to find more of them up here in the mountains. But now at this point, we will save any Aurora Shores map talk for whenever the release is, whether that's February 23rd, sooner or later. And now we'll just head out here on Transylvania and see what else we can find. But for now, straight back to going after Shammy, And I think this may be the first mature one we've ever seen. We've shot a bunch of adult Chevy, and it feels like every time we shoot a one-star adult, it ends up being 80 plus percent. So it's nice to shoot a mature and know for certain that we're not potentially shooting a future high-scoring one. We've seen some good ones, like two-star adults and stuff too. And frankly, it's been so long, I don't even know if I could go to the right spot anymore to find that herd. But while we're up here in the mountains, we may encounter stuff like that. And certainly while chasing the four-star fallow that I think did die of old age. Recently we shot a five-star red deer. We have fast time here on Transylvania. Maybe some of those things are much higher star ratings now. And even as a one-star mature, this one doesn't look that bad. I don't think I've ever seen like a five-star chamois in the trophy lodges before. I've seen screenshots like this, but I'd love to know what a five-star looks like compared to what is a 51% one-star mature. As for now though, our second kind of decent kill right in this area and we'll just continue moving along working on herds and looking for better stuff so perhaps one final opportunity for a kill up here in the mountains we got a whole pack of gray wolves walking through here the biggest one we've seen is that two star adult so unless there's a basically unless there's a five star we're probably just going to take the one star adult and that is that guy right there so before he gets into the brush let's go ahead and try to slot that shot in. That will do just fine. I don't know that we've ever killed a gray wolf on Transylvania. There's the mission for them, and we have to do that at some stage. We really need to spend some time out here because we have the recent, really only good addition to our trophy lodge in the five star red deer from the stream. And if we went and did the mission, we could get the wolf as well and maybe get things rolling. I, I guess I won't spoil what the wolf is in case you've not seen it, but it is a mission animal you can get on this map. As for our one star adult wolf that we shot pretty much just in the right lung. It's always interesting the way that wolves react to shots because sometimes single lung they seem to go really far and sometimes it just drops them in their tracks but 65% that two star adult might be halfway decent then but I think what we'll do then is actually go ahead and move down into the lower elevations a little bit towards the end of the hunt here. And I chose to specifically target red deer here for a number of reasons. First of all, there are the still fairly new albino red deer and every time that we shoot one, we're giving ourselves at least a chance that the respawn will be one of those albinos. The next thing is, I kind of want to figure something out as far as a theory that I've got. I've always figured with the callers and specifically the calls that can attract high fitness males, 
you can at least attempt to determine whether or not to shoot an animal based on whether or not they respond to a call. So what I can't figure out is why this two star mature is coming in and the four star is not, but now he is. So basically this is what I wanted to know. If he comes in, we leave him because in theory he's a high fitness male, but I don't get why that one's coming in. I think just for the sake of trying to learn, we're actually gonna shoot the two star mature and if he ends up being high fitness, maybe he's a really young mature that eventually had a chance to get to high four star. This looks like the four star that we shot, by the way. And that one was in the 90s. So let's definitely focus on this guy. That is pretty cool to see, though. I wish it was a little louder, considering he's fairly close. But if we can just get a slightly better shot angle, maybe when he looks back towards us. A little further to avoid the neck would be ideal. He is just not cooperating though. That's a little more like it, although I don't know if he's... Now they're all just moving this way now? Well then, we'll just go ahead and hit him. And that's going to, I believe, bring him down. It looked to be a lung shot, even though he just ran right by us. And we can tell based on the blood trail here, it was indeed probably not a great lung shot because of the angle, but it will bring him down. Now there was a third and final reason that I chose to target Red Deer, and that is because multiple times in this video I've talked about needing to get out here and hunt Transylvania, and I've not only been saying that, I have been off camera trying to hunt this map a little bit more, and the results recently were one of the most undeserved five stars maybe ever in this game. And I was hunting Red Deer at the time, I thought I saw a big one, which, spoiler alert, it was a three star and it was not that big, but in the process, I just looked up at a warning call and there was a five star golden jackal standing 20 yards away. There was no shot I was going back for a 223. I went ahead, took him out with the 270, and upon claiming him, an even bigger shock than actually finding a five star on Transylvania, let alone a five star predator, was the fact that he was a 495. A really high scoring five star golden jackal. And as I said, I did absolutely nothing but walk around chasing red deer and he just appeared right there. Why he didn't flee, I have no idea. Sometimes predators in this game, especially small game, are a little bit weird. But I'm really excited to get back and throw that in the lodge. If only we could find this red deer, we could go and do it. You really can't tell at this distance, but he basically ran a circle around us. And I don't know if it was when I was marking the initial track or what, because I never saw that happen. But Let's take a peek at what the actual genetic potential is, because if it's not upwards of 80, I don't understand the calls. It was just a single lung shot because of the angle, but he was getting pretty close and I didn't want to let him get behind other brush and stuff as the others were heading our way. 62%. So is it worth using the callers at all to determine anything? Seeing this, maybe not, but the important thing is, we actually have another 5 star to throw in the Trophy Lodge, and of all things, it's one of the newly added species to Transylvania, the Golden Jackal. And so at some stage, we'll need a European hare for this multi-mount as well, but this particular one, I think does a decent job for now at least, of displaying the jackal without needing that additional animal, and they're bigger than I thought, like if we get River to stand beside him here, it's more so the size of like a small coyote, and I do think it was 32 or 34 pounds in the harvest green, so that just about adds up. But to end up getting that, of all things on Transylvania, by the way, our five star from the stream a couple weeks ago is just here beside it. So we're getting a little somewhere, two five stars now from this map, and I just wish I had live audio. I think Kyla was recording or streaming or something at the time, so I didn't have the live audio of seeing it. It was unbelievably shocking to spot it expecting a one star young and that to end up being there. So an undeserved five star, a lot of talk about the Aurora Shores map and maybe possibly learning stuff about the Red Deer. I honestly have no idea. That's the four star that we had. So the one that we just saw, maybe he has a shot at getting the five star. Anyway, I feel like this video, as many way the Hunter ones are, was all over the place. And I apologize for that, but that is gonna do it for this one. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.